Hi, I would like to introduce you today to our new board Explore M3. Explore M3 is Cortex LPC 1768 development board which will help you prototype with Arduino and take your projects beyond with bare metal programming, uh, art of support and we'll be doing a lot of examples on uh, free RTOS which will cover the basics of how to use RTOS and when do you really need an RTOS and will also the board also has a lot of other features like low power modes and all of that so this board really aims to uh, take a prototype and take it beyond and we want to provide all the support that is required to turn a prototype into a product which uses and this ic or this microcontroller at the features okay so this is the board and this is the pinout this might change a little as we uh, do a couple of iterations the board is already in the third iteration so uh, these are the features so uh, this is the uh, processor at the center so this is lpc 1768 so uh, the processor runs at 100 megahertz it has 512 bytes of flash 64 kilobytes of ram which is pretty good for all the uh, you know small uh, graphics displays or sensors that uh, throughput a lot of data uh, for all of that uh, the speed and the ram size is sufficient and even the code size uh, of 512 kilobytes you can build a decent enough uh, thing with it now the board has four as you can see here four hardware uarts so what that means is uh, devices like gps gsm and all that which have uh, uart interface you can directly connect them uh, without having to use uh, something like soft serial uh, so you can connect them directly apart from this apart from these four uh, hardware serial ports you also have a usb port which can act as virtual com port so to debug code uh, or anything like that or print messages to your computer you can use the usb interface itself which will uh, emulate a com device or a serial communication device now apart from that as you can see here there are two i2c ports and there are uh, two spi ports there are then there is uh, there are two can ports which are marked in yellow and then uh, this is uh, i2s uh, digital audio so it even has this interface audio interface and uh, you have six pwm channels and there are six analog uh, inputs and uh, in the latest version of the board we have removed one of the analog inputs so this might change a little and then there are two external inter pin there is an analog output which is a DAC and uh, as again the USB interface d plus d minus pins are taken out so that you can connect a keyboard or a mouse uh, to the board using this pin you could also use a usb otg cable uh, you know to connect usb devices like mouse keyboard directly to the micro usb port and in of the one of the tutorials will also show you uh, how you can do that now yeah, we speak, we've spoken about the interface and <laughs> you know, uh, we need, I'll also tell you about the GPIO pins. It has a lot of GPIO pins as you can see here. Uh, it starts with uh, 0 and uh, ends at uh, 31. So you have 31 and you can also use these analog uh, pins as, um, as, as digital input output. So in effect, you have a lot of GPIO pins. Now other, another important thing is uh, you also have GPIO pins here so it starts here it goes all the way and it goes up to here. Now apart from all this uh, the board also has uh, a JTAG and SWD connector. So what this uh, actually helps you to do is uh, we, uh, we are also along with this board building uh, open source uh, debug adapter which has uh, SWD interface so you can connect that uh, debugger to this port you can also use uh, the standard JTAG debuggers uh, with this port so this is a debugging port uh, on the board now I'll show you one more diagram which will show the parts so first is the USB connector then you have two switches uh, one is USB boot and one is reset then you have the 
RGB LED at number 4 then you have the processor itself and there is uh, LED on pin 13 of the board and then the, there is the JTAG connector that we just spoke about. Now before we go ahead and look at how to set up the board I would like to uh, like tell you why uh, we want to make this board in first place. So we want to make one single board that with which you can uh, prototype with Arduino embed or bare metal. So uh, as I said, you know, the aim, one of the aim is to support uh, IDs like Arduino and embed, which will help uh, quickly prototype what you are you're doing. And then we would also, you know, we have written a lot of libraries and, uh, you know, if you want to transition from, so this may not be case uh, with everyone, but whoever wants to, you know, transition for Arduino C++ to, uh, the uh, tool chains like Keel or ARM or uh, anything uh, which will make the code more efficient, it can debug and have all the advanced stuff that goes into embed programming, uh, you don't want to support that. Now we uh, doing a free RTOS uh, support for it and we are also doing a lot of examples which will uh, help you understand basic basics of an RTOS. Now that it could be free RTOS or it could be anything else, but uh, we'd like to support that. Now we'd also like to write libraries. So this is still in progress, which support, uh, you know, sleep, deep sleep, power, uh, power down or deep power down modes for the controller, which will essentially be very helpful when you're using uh, battery operated devices and stuff like that. Now, uh, as I said earlier, you know, we would also, uh, apart from the platforms, if you go with bare metal, we would like to make, and we already made a lot of tutorials, which will show uh, how, how, you know, the performance gain is drastic or the code size uh, becomes uh, very less when you use bare metal uh, libraries. But mind you, uh, this makes uh, the entire development a little more complex, but you will have uh, a greater control in what you're doing. Now what the board does not stand for. So this is an important thing which I, I would like to, uh, you know, uh, spend a little time on. So this is not the first introduction to Arduino or Embed. So Explore M3 does not aim to do that. There are uh, boards like Arduino Uno or even other uh, ARM boards, uh, which uh, which are ported to Arduino and you can use them same with embed, but this might not be the first introduction So we're not trying uh, to be the Explorer M3 is not trying to be an Arduino embed killer uh, Everything had, has its place. So uh, for a beginner We would really recommend going with an Arduino, but if you would like to take it beyond we would uh, rather suggest Explorer M3 because um, uh, the way in which we are approaching uh, how to solve a number design kind of thing, uh, Explore M3 really stands out. Now, this is not uh, yet another Arduino board. So, uh, if you have seen, uh, so what 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 we have seen is, you know, uh, if if a chip has already an Arduino port, uh, you know, people make different form factors, which is good in a way. But uh, this is uh, Explore M3 is not trying to be that. Then it is not cheap replacement for either uh, the embed or an, or an Arduino. So although, you know, the uh, the board is, uh, it will be for early backers, it will be priced at $1.15, uh, but this is because uh, the board uh, does not use any other active or, you know, major uh, components other than the LPC1768. So, uh, and the retail price could be a little higher, but for the campaign, the board price uh, will be $1.15. So, uh, so let me speak a little bit about the project background as to how we uh, came around this. We have been using this chip LPC1768 for uh, quite some time now uh, for the bare metal uh, thing, as well as, you know, uh, some other projects that we have been doing. Now, we also tried out the other uh, chips from other manufacturers like STM. Uh, the way in which the uh, chip is organized, the internal peripherals, and uh, it makes a lot of sense 
in uh, digging deep and seeing what is happening with this particular chip and uh, believe me it's really important uh, to understand that and where you have uh, complete control of what is going on inside and you have uh, the architecture of the chip or the peripherals rather in an intuitive way so even though uh, you know it is complex uh, it it is a lot more helpful when the peripherals in the chip are neatly designed so uh, we started this project with the uh, stm uh, chip but later realized that you know even if we are able to port an arduino with it uh, or you know uh, even embed for instance uh, but if you go to bare metal programming or want to tweak stuff uh, it gets really difficult with the peripheral design and uh, all of that so so the board uh, and before I go ahead and do that, I'd also like to uh, show you the current status of the project. So the project is documented on Hackaday. So if so, I'll just go through the logs so that you'll get uh, to know. You can uh, follow the project, like it uh, on on Hackaday. So yeah. Um, yeah so uh, when we started out it started out with setting up eclipse uh, tool chain for arm gcc because it's open source free and eclipse could be a good uh, tool to develop uh, stuff so this is eclipse and then this is uh, the iteration in the hardware design so uh, the second version of the board had few changes we went for a smaller version of um, led rgb led the switches have changed and then the USB connector uh, changed it from the first design so uh, it was a little fragile in the first design we found this one which is pretty rugged it fits uh, uh, aptly it has four joints and, and this is a stronger one than the first version uh, also I, I spoken about the soda so swd open source debug adapter uh, and it is working with uh, kyle so if you see here uh, this is the debug adapter it has been connected to the jtag swd port and uh, we were able to debug it with uh, you know the kyle uh, environment so going forward we'd also like to do it uh, it with arm gcc and whenever arduino will support a debug interface We'd also like to do that. Now, uh, going ahead, again, this was the um, first, um, I mean, the, we have shipped two batches of beta units uh, to people who wanted to support the project and also want to uh, contribute and want to see uh, what uh, real it is. So this is the first batch, a rather small one. And then we uh, did a lot of tutorials. This is about how to use the uh, COM ports so this is five four hardware ports and one virtual com port with the usb so we did a tutorial there and then uh, there's a second beta batch so uh, that we had shift and then uh, we have ported numerous libraries uh, as i said earlier so these are the sensor libraries so this is the touch sensor then you have this dth11 with uh, display so this is temperature humidity and standard stuff and then this is a mq sensor uh with with the explorer m3 and then this is the accelerometer then uh, we uh, recently you know ported the display libraries like character displays this is 16 cross 2 20 cross 4 so basically this is one library which does uh, both of that and then this is a graphics library and the controller the graphics controller is ks0108 and then uh, it has a lot of Mm, displays which use this controller then uh, there's one more um, display controller which is st7565 and uh, there are tutorials on how to use this so this is the progress uh, till now so let's see how it pans out and there there is uh, i think uh, we have a lot of stuff working uh, there could be a few things which might come up and uh, when people beta test it and uh, and use their use it in their projects uh, we would get to know about a little more issues we would want to 
you don't want to you know so resolve them and then uh, probably make a small campaign uh, uh, of the board now uh, if you just scroll up the project and if you would like to follow the project or sign up for the campaign here is the link so if you go here it's uh, crowdsupply.com slash explore embedded slash explore m3 and you can sign up uh, here uh, to be notified on the project launch so uh, this is about it in the next video i'll uh, probably speak about how to set up arduino uh, i mean rather uh, set up arduino support for explore m3 and we'll see how it goes thank you for watching